In computer science, there are two types of people. Type A are the students with a perfect GPA, multiple internships, who only apply to about 20 positions and get an offer. And then you have type B students, people like you and me, who apply to hundreds upon hundreds of positions only to hear crickets. In my first year of university, I have applied to over 200 software engineering internships. Stick around until the end of the video to find out what happened and what I would do differently. Part 1 my journey. So it all started before I even began university. I had to choose an elective for my last semester and programming seemed like a really interesting option. So I took it and that's what got me on the path towards software engineering. In this class I learned some basic Python and a tiny bit of data science using popular libraries like NumPy, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn. And when I say basic Python, it was really basic. We didn't even learn what a constructor was. Nonetheless, it was a nice introduction to programming. Then, the summer before starting university, I had to do something. Because I was basically spending all summer doing nothing but going to the gym and playing video games. As such, I randomly stumbled upon a website called The Odin Project, which I made a video on. It's basically a free open source curriculum to learn web development. I completed their foundation course, where you learn HTML, CSS, and some basic JavaScript, while building small little projects like rock, paper, scissors, etch a sketch, and a calculator. So when university finally started, I was really lucky to already have a bit of programming experience and a few small projects under my belt. First semester, intro to programming class, we're back to Python, which is great because it's an opportunity to build a stronger base and to dive deeper into a programming language I already knew. Finally learned the missing pieces of Python and some object-oriented programming. It is important to note that I was in the software engineering co-op program at McGill University, which means I had to find a software engineering internship in my first summer or I might have to delay my graduation. As such, with my limited experience as a freshman, I created a basic resume and started applying. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, 200 applications later, what happened? Part 2 the results. Well, it started slowly with a few applications here and there at the beginning of October, but the bulk of them were done after the winter holidays, when the local companies start opening up their summer internship applications. Rejection after rejection started piling in, when suddenly I got a little glimmer of hope when a recruiter reached out to me from a small SaaS company to schedule a screening interview with her. I prepared by researching the company and practicing a list of the most asked behavioral questions. The interview actually went pretty well, but I still got a rejection email the following week stating that I didn't have enough experience. That's fine, we move on. I continue applying and I get another interview a few weeks later, but this time it's from a big telecommunication company. I continued preparing by researching the company, but I didn't put myself under too much pressure, and it actually paid off. The interview, which I thought would be purely behavioral, ended up being actually pretty technical, and I was completely unprepared. The team asked me two challenging but pretty doable questions. One was a pretty simple algorithm question, and the other one was related to asynchronous JavaScript, which I had absolutely no knowledge of. So I stumbled a little bit, but I clearly explained my thought process and asked good questions, which helped me solve both of these problems with a little bit of guidance from the team. The interview was over, but the waiting game just started. I didn't really get my hopes up, so I kept applying, and I had two scheduled interviews with small companies, one related to data science and the other one related to software testing. Three weeks after my first technical interview ever, I get an offer for a summer internship, which was absolutely unbelievable. When I saw that email, I breathed a huge sigh of relief, feeling the pressure lift off my shoulders, and I had the largest smile on my face. I remember being the happiest man on earth that day. So I promptly accepted the offer and cancelled the two scheduled interviews out of respect for my time and theirs. So looking at the stats, 200 applications led to four interviews and 196 rejections. Out of these four interviews, I got one rejection, two cancellations and the golden offer. Part three, lessons and reflections. So if I could go back to that summer before my freshman year. Here are three things I would do differently. First, 
I would spend a lot more time crafting the perfect resume. Thinking about it, I probably spent 10 times more hours applying to positions compared to creating my resume, which I only did in a few hours. Even a tiny 10% improvement on your resume might make the difference between you landing that interview or getting rejected. So I suggest asking a bunch of people to review your resume, which I hadn't really done. Ask friends, classmates, program coordinators, and even subreddits like CS Majors or Engineering Resumes, which offer free resume reviews. Craft your resume like you would craft your greatest piece of work. Be proud of it. Second, I should have built more projects. I already had a few projects under my belt, but they were very simple and could have been completed in a single day. I also had a bunch of filler stuff on my resume. I had my part-time cashier job, my part-time waiter job, which is not that bad because it still demonstrates teamwork and collaboration skills, but it's not optimal either. Replacing these experiences by actual technical projects done over the weekend or during a hackathon would have been a lot more valuable and could have greatly increased my response rate. Most importantly, it would have helped me develop important skills and learn some pretty cool technologies. Third, I really should have started the lead code grind earlier to ace technical interviews. To be fair, I hadn't taken data structure and algorithms in my first year, so my DSA knowledge was quite limited. But I still could have done some strings, arrays, or linked list problems. I got really lucky to get an easier technical interview, but anything harder and I would have been screwed. Preparation is key. You cannot solely count on luck. Make your own luck. So yeah. It was a hard and long road, filled with obstacles. But 200 applications later, I got an internship, which was a, an absolutely amazing experience. Thank you for watching everyone. Hit that subscribe button below if you want to learn more about my internship and what I did there. Keep grinding. You got this.